This video is brought to you to show the calibration steps to our PSIN202 indicator series. As a start, you will need a valid weight of 50 pounds and a screwdriver. Remove at least three screws from the back of the indicator and flip over the calibration switch. Turn on the indicator and you should arrive to P1. Press 0 to enter parameter 1. Here you can set capacity of scale up to 10,000 pounds. The zero button with the right arrow above moves the decimal points in the capacity. The print and tear button moves the calibration capacity up or down. In this video, we will use 10,000 pound capacity times 1 pound accuracy. After setting to 10,000 pounds capacity, press net gross button to save setting. Press unit to go back to P1. P2. Press print to move to P2. Parameter 2 or P2 sets the accuracy of the scale. Enter P2 by pressing the zero button. With the print button, you can choose between 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or 0 0.5 of a pound. We will set the accuracy at 1 pound for this scale. Save settings by pressing the net gross button. Press unit to return to parameter menu. P10. Press the print button till you move up to the P10 or parameter 10. Press 0 to enter. P10 sets scale to read in pounds or kilograms when turned on. Although you can switch unit any time during weighing, choose one for pound or two for kilogram and save setting by pressing net gross. Press unit to return to parameter menu. P11 and P12. Move up to P11 with the print button and press zero to enter. P11 is internal reading of the scale. Numbers should change when pressure or weight is added on the scale. After confirmation of live internal reading, wait for the numbers to stabilize and press net gross. You will automatically come out to parameter 11 or P11. Press the print button to move up to P12. Press 0 to enter P12. Press 0 again to move and set proper weight that will calibrate with. Press the print button to move up numbers. We will use 50 pounds for this calibration. Place weight on top and center of the scale. Wait 2 seconds and press net gross to save. You will see another set of zeros. Press net gross without changing anything. You will come to the parameter menu after saving. Without removing the weight or turning off the indicator, flip the switch in the back of the indicator. You will hear and see the indicator do a countdown from 9 to 1. Remove weigh and it should show minus 50 or the calibration weight you used. Press 0 and place back the weight one more time. Congratulations! You have calibrated the scale using the PSIN202 indicator.